All right, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna be going over end game setups that are pretty strong. So start off, this one is for KPR, Cosmic Tower, and Volcano Goddess. IQT is the only one that's a little bit different, but basically all these setups start with a Amaterasu backline base. You know, Amaterasu is the best all round DPS carry in the game. Does a lot of uh, global damage, right? So does that burn damage that gets 25 times multiplied by Anubis, which will drop in later. So overall, super, super good. Very solid unit to have, especially a unit pumping out the majority of the damage on your team. Next up, what you're gonna wanna do is combo this Amaterasu with strong units that will make it even better, right? So I would say start off here with an Anubis up front, get the debuff on everybody, five times damage for the Amaterasu initial damage cast, and then pass that, it'll 25 times multiply the burn damage from Amaterasu. But the problem is for levels other than KPR, Amaterasu can't really damage the boss, right? We'll say, actually, we won't use IQT as an example for now. We'll go ahead and use Volcano Goddess as an example for now, right? A lot of the enemies here only take damage to ice type. So to get around that, you're gonna go in the corner and you're gonna throw in a, I forgot to check my setup actually. Yeah, King in Yellow, cool. King in Yellow over here, turns all your units into cosmic damage. That way Amaterasu can hit through all the elements and brute force your way to some easy clears. Next up, you want CC, right? You have all this damage, but you gotta actually keep enemies slowed, stunned, whatever, so you can keep attacking them. Jiraiya comes in here. Jiraiya, super, super good. Slow, right? Basically a full map slow. So that will help units progress a lot slowly and your monsters can do more damage to them. Another really solid combo with this is the Archimedes. I ever evolved. I don't think it's super, super important to have the evolution just because she's mainly here just for the uh, just for the freeze, right? Two second freeze, full map combos nicely, right? Because you got the Jiraiya slows and then you have Arc Archimedes stuns to follow up with that. And of course, you want Arc Archimedes to be hitting some more. So you're going to chuck in a Horus over here. Just make the stuns a little bit more frequent and finally to round it out just throwing in a death bite because death bite combos nicely with anubis right five times 50 percent 250 percent 250 percent of an enemy's health is way more than a one shot so that'll let you clear up a lot of i guess chunkier enemies that amaterasu isn't able to deal with super efficiently and yeah this is the setup right this is a setup that's going to be good for KPR, Kami Pantheon Retribution. This is also going to be a setup that's good for Volcano Goddess. And I'm just going to Volcano Goddess here. Yeah. Also going to be a good setup for Volcano Goddess. And finally, pretty good setup for Cosmic Tower completions as well. And the issue with Cosmic Tower is that right now, I don't know if this is a dumb Pixio feature or it's a bug, but you just can't kill the king on level 99. So this setup can clear it it's just that right now the game is glitched so you can't clear it but yeah that's pretty much it for these three levels a little bit different for iqt which i'll get into now all right so the biggest difference in iqt is the fact that you got to throw in a raw otherwise your units are going to get frozen and you're not really going to be able to complete the level at all so that horror spot in the middle gets taken up by a raw and we need to switch up our setup to kind of build around this now not really too many differences. You still have a death bite over in the middle left here. Combos nicely with the Nubis, as I said before. And then you also are going to have a King in Yellow and Arc Archimedes. So it's uh, not incredibly different, I would say. Where's my King in Yellow? Uh, okay, there's a King in Yellow. Right, King in Yellow here, Arc Archimedes up front. And it's just about switching your positioning just a little bit. Uh, but now, considering that we don't have Horus in the setup anymore, we can swap out Speedy for Horus. I can't talk because Horus is a straight upgrade to Speedy, right? It's just an attacking Speedy that's already maxed out. So there you go. That is going to be the IQT setup. And yeah, this also completes Wave 30 hard. So I'm going to just say for both of these setups, you are going to need a little bit of charms to make them work really well, right? I have level eight cooldown charms just very simple cooldown charms on the anubis on the jiraiya death bite 
and of course a freeze charm at level 8 on Arc Archimedes. And then I also have a level 13, very simple cooldown charm on Amaterasu. Of course, you can improve those, right? Make them even more level, do a bunch of evil summoner farming to get all those upgrade stones for your charms and whatnot. But I have them like this, and these setups work pretty well for me. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, cool. Like, subscribe, and uh, yeah, see ya.